Hello guys, I have just created a PHP script which watches file or directory changes and executes some specific code. This is really simple and I think really powerful because we can connect it with other scripts like making requests to some APIs, uploading files to Google Drive. We can watch one folder and when the folder is changed or something is uploaded there or something is deleted, we can synchronize this to our Dropbox or Google Drive or etc. Another idea is that we can watch one specific folder where, for example, CSV or XML data or JSON data is uploaded and we can take the new files and immediately parse and import in the database. Hello, my friends, I hope you are fine. I'm the Codeholic and in this channel I do coding tutorials and challenges, so if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing. Okay, let's make it easy and let's first implement the functionality to watch one single file from PHP. And if that file changes, then we need to execute some specific code. OK, let's do this. I'm going to create a console script which can be executed in the following way. PHP index PHP and we're going to give here the file name. So let's start and first I want to take that file name and save in a variable. Then I want to take the file modification time and save that in a variable called current time. Then I'm going to start an infinite while loop and I'm going to check if the file modification time is changed and that basically I'm going to call in every one second. If I want to check uh, not that often, I need to increase that one second into something else. Now I have to implement that check path method, which will accept path and simply will check if the file was modified. For this, we are going to take the global current time, we're going to take the new time, and we're going to compare these two time variables. And if they are different, that means that file was modified. And if the file was modified, we need to update the current time and set it to the new time. OK, let's save this and let's test this. So let's run this PHP index PHP, and we need to now save modify the test.txt. Let's save this and we don't see any output. OK, let's debug this and let's print new time and current time variables. Let's restart the script and we see they are the same. OK, let's modify test.txt and the times are still the same. So that's because the file aim time method caches the once returned value and on its second, third or etc. calls, it will return the previously generated value. So we need to clear the cache for this file aim time. For this, I'm going to create a clear cache function, which will accept the path as an argument and will simply clear the modification time cache for that particular file. OK, let's save this and restart the script. Let's modify something in test.txt and we see file was modified. And that's basically it for a single file. OK, let's make it more complex. Now we need to read the directory, uh, list all the files re there recursively. And then if some of the files, if any of the files changes, we are going to execute some code. For this, we're going to always save the previous state of the directories and files, and then we're going to check the current state, compare previous and current state of the files, and then we're going to execute some code that new file is added, file was deleted, or file was changed. OK, let's do this. To make this working on a directory, first we need to change the current time into current status because we're going to have an associative array where key will be the file path and the value will be the modification time of that particular file. I'm going to create a read path function which will accept path and the associative array and it will recursively read that path and populate that associative array. So I'm going to accept that associative array uh, as a reference and call it files map. First, we need to save in the files map for the current path its modification time. Then we need to check if the current path is a directory. We need to list all the files in this directory, iterate over those files, 
take each file's modification time and we also need to check if each file is a directory, then we need to call that read path for that subdirectories. And we need to pass the file name and the files map associative array. So that's it about read path method. Now we need to modify check path method. We don't want that code anymore. Instead, we're gonna use global current state variable we need to create a new state variable and populate it with the state which is at the moment of the folder. I'm going to call again read path method, pass it path and new status as an arguments. After this, I have current status and new status and I want to compare these two associative arrays. I need to iterate over current status and I want to check if each file from the current status exists, doesn't exist in the new status, that means that file was deleted. If the file exists in the new status, then we need to check if its time is different from the current status's time. And if their times are not the same, that means that file was modified. Okay, we have already detected the modification and deletion of the files. Now we need to detect if new files are added in that directory. For this, we need to iterate over new status at this time. We need to iterate in the same way and check if the file doesn't exist in the current status. That means that this is a new file and we need to print file was added. After doing all of these checkings, we need to update the current status with the new status. Okay, let's test this script and let's run this for the folder which is called one, which is in the project. Okay, this is waiting for file changes. Let's go to the inner file one.txt and modify this file. And we see in the console file one.txt was modified and this parent folder was also modified. Let's create one new folder and we see test was added. Okay, let's test this on more complex example. I have here my channel folder and I have over 400 files and 150 folders there. Okay, let's test this script on that folder. Okay, the script is waiting modifications. Let's create a new folder. And we see in the console immediately new folder was added. Let's, let's modify this folder. And as we see, new folder was deleted and te test was added. Let's create new file. We see also this in the output. Let's modify this new file. And we see in the console that new text document was modified. And that's basically what we wanted. I have put the project on my GitHub account and the link will be in the video description. So if you're interested, check it out, give it a star. You will do me a favor. And if you enjoy this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons and let me know in the comment section what you think. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next time.